What's cooking everybody? It's Dor and in this video we will be going over the fourth phase of the exobiology expedition in No Man's Sky. I will of course show you how to complete each phase and give you some tips in doing so. I have already uploaded full walkthroughs of phase 1 to 3. So if you're having trouble getting through those or haven't seen them already and are looking for some entertainment, it's baking a cake included, make sure to check them out. I'll be sure to link them in the description down below. But without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're doing for this expedition is of course to go to the forefront of Hoop Point. If you've seen my video on the second phase, you'll know that we already have visited that system. So make sure to warp there using a teleporter. Once you are within the Loom 4 system, make sure to head up to your starship and take off. You should see the approximate location of the fourth rendezvous marked in your HUD. Make sure to fly there. Land at the approximate location and get out of your starship. Open up the target sweep on the analysis visor to home in on the exact location. And of course make sure to check back regularly to see if you're still going into the right direction. When you are close by the rendezvous point, the signal will finalize. And when you reach it, the rendezvous milestone will be completed. And claiming this will reward you with a thousand nanites, an exosuit expansion unit, a multi-tool expansion slot, and storage documentation for your starship. Now before we get off this planet, I would recommend to track the marine biology milestone. This will require you to scan 10 underwater creatures. This planet has quite good bodies of water, so make sure to get in there. Of course wait a little while to have the fauna spawn in, and then use your analysis visor to track them down and to scan them. I like that we already have 3 out of 10 underwater creatures. Next up I would recommend to track down the Adopt a Beetle milestone. Make sure to head back to your starship and fly into space. Open up the galaxy map. From the Loom 4 system you will want to enter a free look and go down a bit. We are looking for this system right here. It's called Stenete 7 and it is 138 light years away. Make sure to warp there. Within this system of course make sure to visit the space station so that you are able to return to this system at any moment. But also to expand your inventory of your exosuit. You can also do this at the Anomaly, so also make sure to stop by the Anomaly in the system before continuing with the guide. So once you've done so, you will want to make your way towards Tong 25 Foxtrot 9, that's the grassy planet in the system. Land your starship and get out of it, of course make sure to give it a few minutes for all the fauna to spawn in. And all we're looking for is of course this beetle right there. Make sure to offer it one of your creature pellets. And after doing so, interact with it and adopt it as your companion. Of course claiming this will reward you with the Nautilus Chamber Plans, the Nautilus Advanced Equipment Blueprints and Submarine Drive Upgrade. So adopting this companion will also count towards the companionship milestone, which will require you to adopt 3 companions in total. So you could expand your companion register to free up some slots to be able to adopt some more companions. But I've noticed that once you adopt a companion and discard it, you can use that same slot to adopt another companion and it will count towards the companionship milestone. So that's basically your decision if you want to spend the nanites on another slot or if you just want to uh, get rid of it and re-adopt one. So once you have adopted your third companion, the companionship milestone will be completed. And claiming this will reward you with a powerful underwater oxygen upgrade and oxygen. 
course make sure to install these underwater upgrade modules right away and to place them next to each other for an adjacency bonus. So once again this planet has some bodies of water so make sure to also go in there and scan some creatures for the marine biology milestone. So I managed to scan three underwater creatures within a few minutes so it's definitely a good planet to uh, get some in. So now you should be at 6 out of 10 animals. Of course, if you cannot find them, you can always go to the Discovery tab and look for planets within that systems that feature underwater animals within the list, like this. So next up, I would recommend to track the Ice in the Reeds milestone, which will require us to discover a creature on a swamp world. Make sure to head back towards your starship and fly up into space. Summon the anomaly or go to the space station and make sure to visit the teleporter. Make sure to interact with the teleporter and warp into the Anfraka system. Now as you may recall, for the second phase of this expedition we had to visit a swamp planet. This is the system where that swamp planet we went to lied. Make sure to fly out of the space station and fly towards the murky planet Amaim. When you land on the planet, of course, make sure to explore around for a bit until you see some fauna popping up. Make sure to scan one. The ice in the reach milestone should be completed. And claiming this will reward you with the Supreme Hazard Protection Upgrade and 25 iron batteries. And of course, make sure to install the hazard protection right away. Get back into your ship and take off. Head back up to the anomaly and go towards the teleporter. I decided to warp back into the loop for system, but of course you can use any system which has planets with water in it. So in the loom for system we have of course already visited New Ola, so make sure to not go there. Marl's Mike 36 should also have large bodies of water, so warp there. Get out of your starship and head into the water. So scanning some underwater creatures should also not be a problem here, as they are quite common. So I believe this planet has three underwater creatures, so if you have them all three, just make sure to head back up to your starship. Fly up into space and make sure to fly towards the acidic planet Apollinias Cuyus. Get into a body of water and scan your final animal. Well, hopefully it's your final animal. The marine biology milestone will be completed. And claiming this will reward you with a terrifying sample, a supreme scanning system upgrade, and a lost Banisphere helmet. Of course make sure to install the scanner upgrade right away. Make sure to track the what lurks below milestone. The easiest way to track down an abyssal horror would be to use the scanner on the Nautilus. So make sure to craft the Nautilus. For this you require 5 metal plating, 4 crystal sulfides, and 100 salt. To be able to craft the 5 metal plates needed, you will of course need to uh, farm some ferrite dust. So once you have 250 ferrite dust, you can start crafting the metal plating. Salt and crystal sulfide can usually be found underwater, but it seems that this planet does not have a lot of salt on it. So make sure to get back towards your starship and take off. So for salt you could go to Util's Uniform 33 in the Amfraka system. So when you are on Util's Uniform 33 make sure to find a salt deposit. And if you happen to come across this creature right here, make sure to scan it as it will be more worth more than 200,000 units and the valuable data milestone will be completed. And of course, claiming this will reward you with 600 Quicksilver and 3 Exosuit Expansion Units. Thank you little guy. Yes. So back to the Salt Deposit. Once you found one, make sure to mark it on your HUD and to go there. Once you're at the Salt Deposit, of course make sure to mine it using your Terrain Manipulator. So once you have plenty of salt, make sure to head back towards your starship and take off. You'll need to warp towards a system that has planets with bodies of water. So of course you could go back to the system of the fourth rendezvous. 
So once you of course have the metal plating and the salt and you are underwater on the planet, make sure to find these spewing vents to collect some crystal sulfide. Of course do be careful because these vents can spew and this will damage you if you are close by. Now this is once again on the planet New All in the Lumfor system and as you can see there are a lot of spewing vents right here. Make sure to farm plenty as you will also need this to install the uh, humble scanner. So once you have collected some, it's time to craft the Nautilus chamber. Place it down and head into the Nautilus. Open up the inventory and install the high power sonar. This will cost you 3 crystal sulfide. 50 ferrite dust and a solar mirror which you will need to craft. In order to craft a solar mirror you'll need 40 gold, 30 silver and 25 chromatic metal. Once you have it of course install it onto the high power sonar. Then open up the high power sonar from the quick menu and search for a sunken building. One should be detected and marked on your HUD. I would recommend to get out of the Nautilus and to delete the base. Get into your starship and take off. You want to fly towards the sunken building that's marked in your HUD. Now if you're lucky you should come across a place where you can land your starship nearby. Make sure to move up to the sunken building. Every sunken building should have an abyssal horror. There are these eye looking creatures right here. Now you will want to uh, approach the abyssal horror and it starts luring you in like this. And then you want to escape it. And after doing so, the what lurks below milestone should be completed. And claiming this milestone will reward you with a Supreme Bolt Caster upgrade, a Supreme Neutral Cannon upgrade, Supreme Blaze Javelin upgrade, and some weapon blueprints. And this also concluded phase 4 of this expedition, and collecting this reward will give you the amazing exotic wing pack customization. So let's have a look into that. So and this concludes this video, phase 4 of the Exobiology Expedition. You will still have 6 days to unlock this amazing backpack and it's a must have if you ask me. Of course if you use my guides, which I will all link below, it shouldn't take you too long. I really really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.